Maxime Vachir Lagrave, thank you very much for finding the time to join us. The 12th round has passed for you. You drew with Hikaru Nakamura. How do you feel? How's the tournament going so far for you? Uh, the tournament is going well. Um, I had a uh, really difficult time to get into rhythm in the first day and uh, I was in trouble in most of my games. And then uh, little by little I managed to, to find my rhythm even though uh, by the end of the days uh, after six hours of play it becomes very difficult to, to play um, in our best shape. But um, yeah, the result is good and I was in some... I mean, I had a great position against Magnus uh, in the one. Yeah, I wanted to ask about that, the Carlsen, Carlsen game, how do you feel about that? Yeah, so I had a great position against Magnus, but then um, I uh, let him back into the game and after a couple of moves I was in uh, under big pressure. I managed to hold, but uh, I was not very, uh, very optimistic during the game. Um, it was a bit of a miracle then to, to make a draw. But of course this way he's, uh, he's in solid and of course it will be hard to catch up with him. And in this game against Hikaru, I mean, he got some, some preparation, I was slightly worse, but then I managed to find uh, a couple of very nice moves and um, to, to equalize, even though it was a bit shaky, very concrete, but it's, uh, it seemed like uh, I was just in time. We're now in the final period of, the, of this rapid. Uh, apart from yourself, obviously, who do you see as the most likely people to be at the top? And what is your mentality? You're obviously anticipating now people who you will face in the next, round, uh, next rounds. How are you sort of psyching yourself up for that? No, by now the fairy tale uh, stories are over. I mean, uh, for instance, uh, Ilyas Mirin was playing fantastic chess in the first day. Um, but now it's uh, all the regulars are, are back on the top boards. You see Magnus playing against Levon. Of course, there are two uh, big contenders for, for first place, Hikaru as well. There's uh, Wang Kao, who always played well in Rapid. There's Lenier also, who is a great Rapid player. Sasha, uh, Grishuk had a slow start, but now he's back on the top board. So, you know, it's uh, anybody's pick right now. What do you think about this approach which Wang Hao seems to have to uh, have quick draws as wide with very strong players and then look for his chances against the underdog, so to say? No, I think he was just tired yesterday. Uh, generally, he doesn't like to do that so, so much, but uh, here I think he was just tired in the last two games and decided to make quick draws, uh, not to spoil his, um, his ranking, not to spoil his chances, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it depends, of course, on your mood and your shape. I mean, I can totally understand uh, what he did, but uh, but yeah, I wouldn't have done that. And finally, it's uh, you have little time between the rounds. How do you rest? Do you, you know wh what do you do to psych yourself up and to get some energy? Yeah, I brought my phone and I brought my um, uh, headphones. So I'm mostly listening to music, uh, trying to, to get me into shape. Uh, of course, uh, if I sometimes I get some talks with some of, some other players. Sadly, we don't not have many French players, but uh, I mean we have uh, Pauline, who's playing in the women's section. And uh, so, of course, if I see her, I will talk to her, uh, and she she ourselves a bit. And uh, otherwise, you know, get get some talks, uh, casual talks, because there are many people that I don't see often. Uh, that I see uh, maybe only this time in the year. And um, otherwise, yeah, uh, just trying to stay fresh, to, to stay focused, so listening to some music and uh, staying uh, a, b a bit away from uh, all, uh, all the action. Well, it's very difficult to stay away from the action here. There are a lot of, lot of fans here asking for autographs. Yeah. Uh, do, you find, do you enjoy that or does you struggle with that? How do you feel about that? Sorry, I said it was the last question, but you just gave us a slug word. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, I mean, I, uh, I'm always happy to, to give autographs to or selfies to whoever asked because, uh, you know, it's part of... Um, part, no, not the contract, but like it's, uh, it's ethical that, you know, you, these people, they come to, to see you and other players as well, but they come to see to see the games and we have to, to respect them and to show them gratitude that they, uh, they enjoy uh, watching our games. Um, but of course, whenever I seek for some, uh, so for some calm, I go down to the first floor.
I'm just sorry, because you, you said you see some players here who you don't get a chance to see very often, but there are some players you meet, you meet regularly, probably more often than your family. Uh, some of them are your friends now. Is it difficult to play against friends? How does that, does that impact when you know someone well? Does it impact how you play against them? I don't think so. I think, you know, we all, yeah, we have all seen each other for the past five years or something. I mean, and for some other players, it's longer than that, of course. But uh, the thing is, of course, whatever relationship you have off the board, uh, doesn't really interfere with uh, when you come on the board. I mean, it's been too long that we play chess. I mean, for me, it's been 25 years, so I, I'm used to, uh, you know, once I'm on the board, I'm like focused on my game, and uh, it doesn't matter who the opponent is. Well, thank you very much. Good luck with your other games. Thank you. Thank you.